Welcome to my channel about embedded systems, physics technique and robotics. If you're new to this channel or haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe via the thumbnail in the bottom right corner. As you can see, um, this video is focused on my walking robot MIRFT 2, made of physics technique and based on the TXT controller running embedded Linux and programmed in Python. Last time I checked on the stability um, and the connection of the gear in this part and I made a change which looks like this and next thing that happens is that with uh, the command to move power drops so uh, without changing this back to um, the old situation I want to fire up the whole thing and uh, see if the power drops again and if it does um, use the scaffold to see if uh, the scaffold makes it walk bit contradictory but anyway let's fire it up and see what happens all right um, change to screencast the um, battery packs give uh, nine 0.1 voltage, so that's more than correct. That has been set. Um, but before I have to, before I can give the command, I have to quit this one. So let's go and find out. Camera connected, very good. Online. And let's see what it... Oh, no program. Oh yeah, sure. But it doesn't do a thing. So, I am ending this one. And I'm going to undo this change here. And see whatever happens then. Because it might be too tight. Alright, so now this part is uh, no longer fixed. Let's run again. Yep, two and a half seconds, network error. I don't need that. Yep, 450, go. Okay, so this one is too tight. Okay, that's a proven fact, unfortunately. So this doesn't make um, these pictures don't make any sense. Um, the point is, I have to make a new solution for this. Because, uh, let me just go a little bit, that's better. Because this construction appears too tight for these gears. And that's not funny. Not good. But how to fix it? And I thought about a little test. So I reattached um, this block to the frame. And then how can I test? Well, manually, of course. So I am moving this gear and it moves quite easily, uh, which has to be the case because a real um, oops. because if it jams it won't work but this is no problem at all same with this easily movable in other words it isn't too tight not to my experience 
So, what happens if I put it on the scaffold anyway? Um, okay, let's run. And of course, within the view of the camera. And then I need it like this view, because this view, this side, it is uh, the problem. Let's go. And let's put it properly. Camera not connected. But does it work? No. Well, so far uh, the battery isn't power off, so that's a positive point. But I need this to connect, of course. Okay. Need I say more? I don't think so. Because this side is functioning as well. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah. Go. Yeah, okay. Go. So this is more than clearly functioning. This one as well. So there's no problem at all. And stopping because the, um, the algorithm is stopping. The only thing is, of course, the weight. The scaffold is holding the weight of the gears, etc. But I need it to walk, obviously, without the scaffold. Which obviously brings me to the test on the floor, where it went wrong last time. So let's check the battery pack. Uh, which is now 8.9, so that is a nice value. Let's run again and see what happens. Uh, I am afraid for um, problems. Okay, 450. It did walk a little bit. But what's the problem anyway? Or should I lift off battery packs? That's another thing I could do. Just for, well, testing of course. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Um, let's do it. So, run. And I take them both off. Oh, and of course I have to give the speed. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, taking them both off. And that is actually quite a nice result. And the battery packs are not lightweight. So actually, this is a problem. Yep. Yeah. 
I have identified clearly a weight problem, but how to solve it? So I have uh, two battery packs, which I need. I need both of them um, because I have four motors, and at the same time they are not light weighted, and they have now shown to be a little bit too heavy to make it walk, it being a robot obviously. Um, to have them in um, as an extra carriage, that's nonsense. So how am I going to make it a lighter weight? I'm not sure how to do it, if it is possible anyway. Um, I already divided uh, or balanced the weight of the battery pack by placing the one that was right here. Now here. Um, so the weight is balanced. But the weight is there. I have no answer right now. If there is one. So, um, problem identified, but uh, yeah, how to solve it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, uh, please do subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, and click on the bell for notifications. Um, please support by uh, either donation via PayPal or by Kofi or becoming a patron from. Uh, two euros per month and uh, up. You can also follow me via um, Twitter and Instagram. And please check my website for uh, more projects of this technique and embedded systems, etc. Um, everything is listed uh, under the video and in the final segment. Um, well, to be continued officially. For now, have a great day, take care, bye.